What is good, y'all? It's your boy DB30. Now we back to that query, man. You already know the deal. Let's get straight into it, man. It's summertime. You know, we're coming out with the banger videos in the summertime, baby. I'm pretty sure all school is out now. Like, summer is like already been started, so you already know the deal. Speaking of school, you see the school bus. Hi! Ladies, peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack it's quarry forever. Yeah. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Uh, you know, you never know. Yeah. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. Oh, there you go. Like that, the subtitles was too big. Space gods. Space gods. You know what I mean? Okay, spell it. Not that a spell, you know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> Quit. Hi, Emma. Hey. I'm sick that they use the girl from Disney Channel in this game. Then her name used to be uh, London on Sweet Life and Deck. Let me grab the last couple of bags, boy. Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. <clears throat> we couldn't go in there for some reason. <clears throat> Got the last of the bags. Let me hit up a uh, baby girl. Yo, I got him. All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? <laughs> like, why you gotta worry about me? What about you? Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> Oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Yeah. <laughs> like... Like, you just use the word sexy, yeah, though. Sexy, huh? Uh -huh. I can't buy far. Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in Bunk 7, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me, of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. Wow. Name. Say your name, Brady. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing. Is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass <laughs> Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <sighs> man, like, man, it's just a lame, baby. Seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, grandkid, grandkid. Dang, she going through the uh, whole nursing list. Nursing home, and finally... Dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand year old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of the ballpark? Oh shit, I'm sorry, that was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says 
Roadhead. Oh, wow. actually, that's just a generic all men list. Oh, well, seems legit. <laughs> the fact that she had to go so like that, sure man. That this old rust bucket's roadworthy. <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. Man, she ain't got to worry about my business about the relationship. Hey, doesn't kill you. It'll make you stronger. Well, Big facts. You yet. You're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. But this, this, uh, scene looks... Oh man, like I remember this scene. Like the old lady was showing us in the ball. Like I don't know which decision should I make though. Let's go steal with the rotor arm. I have to make a choice. I want to. I don't want to break anything. You know. Up here, my dudes. Okay. See, okay, like good thing the van didn't Jacob. catch on fire. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 oh, Nick! Boy, I got it. Freak. Bro, dancing like that, though. Singles. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> Looking like Gronk and oh, feel. <laughs> they get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have like charged up our phones like a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency. <laughs> Bro, oh, we just man. gonna keep bringing this dumb shit up. Man, at least I got some. What are you talking uh, well, about? At least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn. Now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, okay. okay let's all put our little dick swing at this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why Why would I know that? I don't know. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You see me? <laughs> you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky wins. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Jimmy. Abigail, okay. What you drawing? What you got going on? Okay. I'm fucking with the red hair, you feel me? I'm fucking with that. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Mm. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean. Shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. No harm, no foul. Like, this is boring. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Like, we, like, we gotta get our bags. So what? I was just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, 
two, three. Ugh. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. About the power of positive thinking. You don't even positive see, like, they just literally pushed down the door. Right? Are you sure they're going to think it was a bear? That's oh, Emma. God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just going to take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Okay, that's Emma. I didn't know. But, um, do we really have to explore? Like, we got our bags. We got what we came. Why would this place be in the news? We got what we came for, you feel me? And why would we, like, leave our bags? Aww. Somebody would stole our shit. Little Izzy's. Things are so weird. Nah, we leave. No, we're not getting that. Yeah, we can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. Exactly. I'm not. <laughs> we are not taking that. Like, come on. I think that's everything. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get it popping. Try to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. <laughs> Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. I guess I can give you that. I don't know. You might you might be on to something. You never know unless you put yourself out there. Skirt! Oh wow! Oh. Nice steering tech. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically. If I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Meh. Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Long, yeah, sure. long, di long distance but don't work. That's us. You and Nick could be different. Why don't you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the package they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I ain't gonna lie. Email, bro? Come on. I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on. Scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? I always want to do some... Ah, uh, like, bro, it's just that that hood in me. That that hood, like, no, we're going back to the lodge, bro. We should really get back. Boo, thumbs down. I don't care. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Don't care. Hey, we we good? It's just a squirrel. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time, like, ever. Emma! <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I am going to throw you out of the crowd. Who deserves that? <laughs> like, bro. I know it's daytime, but it's just like, you know, you just can't risk anything out here, man. The game can get, go twist and turns. I guess we play every. Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas. So. Oh fuck me. <laughs> oh idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here, anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy. What? No. It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. Uh, you. <sighs> Why you gotta take it like that? You know what I mean. Hey, 
Where were you guys? Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take uh. care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can Damn. Both take care of our own bag, thank you. Hey, just helping out, Brady. Like, damn, I won't. Just being a gentleman here. Hey, he was kind of looking. Looking like a simp. But. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need. Yeah. Can I. Thank like, you. Bro, <laughs> my bro had to throw the lob. Like, bro, go, go get you one. He handed him the ball like, go get you a bucket. What are you talking about? Look at her cheesing and shit. Even bro's like, good game. <laughs> Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice, that's cool. So everybody's making a podcast now. And today's I think bro got a, a thing for it, but it's just like, hey, just play cool. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Mm. Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids it's um there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back she haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy there are like reports of whispers or whatever and was that the same ghost that we saw in the first episode stuff. some people say that if she catches you alone she'll try to turn you into her son that's or impossible. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. <laughs> cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. Hop to it. Get those butts in gear. All right, Bye, man. Mr. H. Yeah, deliberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost right. Stories. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. <sighs> no worries, bro. Ain't no point in oh, arguing. Oh, cool, yeah. Good man. Ain't no uh, point in arguing with bro. No big deal. You can share my earbuds. Real, that's a real nigga. Ryan a real nigga. I'm fucking with him. Like, just wait till I can control him. Just wait. I just got a feeling. 
So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, that's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm eavesdropping. I just wanna, I just wanna hear what he wants. Like, what's that phone call? They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get This is a waste of time. What they gearing up to do? Oh, should I have? He's gone. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. I mean, I heard. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just. Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that. Hey, you know, he's got to be curious. Hey. Wow, right. right. Uh -huh. They took you that long. Let's get it. Like, I'm curious what's going on. And he wanted us to leave so bad and shit. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Mm. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Cause it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. Get this show on the road. Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine mixer, H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like, kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Dang, hey, calm down. I'm still trying to figure out, like, why bro steal that thing. Okay. Okay. Well, and why bro tripping? Okay, we'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. <laughs> Let me think. Doug, I don't know why this is so funny. Why this nigga tripping, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Oh shit! Let me get this. No, like I don't know why is it so funny with Brady hey, tripping. Brian. Come here for a sec. This is the good, bro. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? This is Ryan you talking about. You said one of the best of the best. Yeah, you know I got you. Yeah, 
Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. Oh. Uh, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Like what, bro? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. All right. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he's just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Yeah, like he did like bro did we I not see the trying to freak us out jacob i think he was really freaked out by something jesus christ did I'm you not see serious about this guys just say you're in man come on one last night yeah, dude he won't even know I, I promised I... no 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 D dude dude it's all good all right we get it you know you uh you know, i don't care if they're getting bored of me did you not see the <sighs> oh my god I don't want the like, uh, like, uh, yeah, whatever, bro. Like, come on. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. I just don't like that vibe that he was just like. All I know right, it was all, right, all, right. all funny when he was throwing that tantrum, but like, it's something uh, crazy okay. going on here. First things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just. I don't know. Figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. This is crazy. Uh, I broke out the sniper. Got this. What's going on with these men? Is this what the uh, one thing is warning us about? Because we got fucking Jason and I don't even Freddy Cougar looking ass niggas over here. Hun season. Oh man. I really. And now we on chapter two. So I guess that's going to be a wrap on today's video. Anyways, man, if y'all enjoy, hit that like button, man. And if you're new, subscribe. As always, have a great day. You see how she wants to start the video when I'm ending it. But we out. Peace.